Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example which is a combination of algebra and mensuration. The area of the rectangle is 29 centimeters square greater than the area of the square. The difference between the perimeters of the two shapes is k centimeter. Find the value of k and you must show all your working. So the first thing we are going to do is to change the given statement into an equation. So we can write it as area of rectangle is 29 more than the area of square. So we have changed the statement into an equation. Then the next thing is we know that area of rectangle is length times width and area of square is side times side. So let us write it over here. So area of rectangle is written as length times width is equal to 29 plus area of square is written as side times side. Now the length of the rectangle we will take it as 2x plus 1 and we will take the width as x minus 1 as given in the diagram. And for the area of square we will take the side as x and another side as x. So here we substituted the length and width of the rectangle is equal to 29 plus x times x. Now let us expand the brackets and distribute the terms. So we have 2x times x gives us 2x to the power of 2 and 2x minus 1 gives us negative 2x and plus 1 multiplied with x gives us plus 1x or just x and plus 1 times minus 1 gives us negative 1 is equal to 29 plus x times x gives us x to the power of 2. So let us gather all the terms on one side of the equation. So we get it as 2x square and taking plus x square on this side we get minus x square. Minus 2x plus x are the like terms so we can add them up and that gives us minus x minus 1 minus 29 is equal to 0. So further simplifying this these two are like terms so we can add them up and write it as x to the power of 2 minus x and these two are constants with the same sign so when we add them we get it as negative 30 is equal to 0. Now once we get this equation let us try to factorize it and try to find the values of x. So there are various methods to find the values of x like splitting the middle term or using the quadratic formula. In this case I am going to use splitting the middle term by finding the sum of the roots and the product of the roots. So here we have a product of negative 30 and we have a sum of negative 1 which is for the middle term. So we have to find out the factors of negative 30 that gives us negative 1 when we add them up. So the one factor which we can think over here is negative 6 and positive 5 because when you add them you get negative 1 and when you multiply them you can get negative 30. So I am going to use these two factors and substitute in place of negative x and write it here as x square minus 6x plus 5x minus 30 is equal to 0. Now here let me take the first two terms and the next two terms and we have to take the common ones out from the first two. So we can see that x is common in both the terms so let me take it out and within the bracket 1x stays in this x square and negative. Now from these two I can take out the 5 common so we get in the bracket x minus 6. Now after this x minus 6 I will be taking out common and then another factor is going to be x plus 5 is equal to 0. So now I have two values of x one is x minus 6 equal to 0 and another one is x plus 5 is equal to 0. So here I have x equal to 6 and x equal to negative 5. 
So this is in centimeters and this is in centimeters as it is given in centimeter square. And remember that x is the side which is given to us. So the sides of the shapes cannot be negative. That means we have to discard the negative 5 and we have to consider the value of x as only 6 cm which is positive. So taking this into consideration, let us find out what is the perimeter or what is the value of k cm. Now the second statement states that the difference between the perimeters of two shapes is k cm. So let us find out the perimeter of rectangle and perimeter of square. And we are going to write it over here as, so difference in perimeter of rectangle and perimeter of square is k. Now the formula for perimeter of rectangle is given as 2 times length plus width. And the perimeter of the square is given as 4 times side is equal to k. So here we have the length and width of the rectangle given in the diagram. So let us substitute over here that is the length is 2x plus 1 and width is x minus 1. So substituting here 2x plus 1 plus x minus 1 minus 4 times the side. So the side of the square is x. So we are going to write over here 4x is equal to k. So let us solve the bracket terms first. So we get 2 multiplied with 2x plus x gives us 3x and here plus 1 and minus 1 since both are same but with opposite signs they will cancel out each other or they will add to 0. So we have 2 times 3x minus 4x is equal to k. So let us write it here 2 times 3x gives us 6x minus 4x is equal to k. So 6x minus 4x gives us 2x equals k and the value of x we had taken as 6 cm. So substituting over here 2 times 6 is equal to k or the value of k we get over here is 12 cm. So this is how we find out the value of k by using the formula for perimeter of rectangle and perimeter of square. Now let us look at the part b of this question. The volume of the larger cube is 5 cm cube greater than the volume of the smaller cube. Show that 3y square plus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0. Now since this is a cube, we have the same length. The width is also going to be y plus 1. And we have the height also as y plus 1. The same thing goes with this cube. So we have the length as y, width as y and the height is also going to be y. Now let us write the given statement in the form of an equation. So volume of the larger cube is 5 greater than the volume of smaller cube. Now we know that the volume is given by the formula length times width times height. So let me write it over here. So in case of volume of larger cube and volume of smaller cube, we can substitute the length, width and height and write it as y plus 1 times y plus 1 times y plus 1 is equal to 5 plus y times y times y. Now here I am going to multiply the first two brackets and distribute them as y times y is y square plus y times 1 is y plus 1 times y gives us y plus 1 times 1 gives us 1. So this is the expansion of first two brackets and the third bracket stays the same y plus 1 is equal to 5 plus now y multiplied 3 times with itself gives us y to the power of 3. Now let us simplify the first bracket. So we have here y to the power of 2 plus y plus y gives us 2y plus 1. Then it should be multiplied with the third bracket 
y plus 1 is equal to 5 plus y to the power of 3. Now again we are going to multiply the first bracket with the second bracket. So y square times y gives us y cube plus y square times 1 gives us y square plus 2y times y gives us 2y square plus 2y times 1 gives us 2y plus 1 times y is y plus 1 times 1 is 1 is equal to 5 plus y to the power of 3. Now let us bring all the terms on one side of the equation. So bringing these two over this side, we get it as y to the power of 3 plus y square and 2y square are like terms. So we can add them up and write it as 3y square plus 2y plus y are again like terms. So we can add them and write it as 3y plus 1 minus 5 and minus y cube. Now here the plus y cube and minus y cube will add together and give us 0. And here we are left with 3y square plus 3y and plus 1 and minus 5 gives us minus 4 is equal to 0. So this is the required answer because here they had asked us to show that 3y square plus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0. So we have used the given statement and substituted the values and got the equation. Now let us look at the last part of this question. Find the volume of the smaller cube and show all your working and give your answer correct to two decimal places. Now we had got the volume of smaller cube in the previous part of this question. So we can write the volume of smaller cube as y times y times y or we can also write it as y to the power of 3. Now to find out the value of y, let us consider the equation which we got in the previous answer. So considering the same equation, we can write here 3y square plus 3y minus 4 equal to 0. Now to solve this, I am going to use the quadratic formula which is given as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Now here we have a as the first coefficient of y square that is 3, b is the coefficient of y which is 3 and c is the constant which is negative 4 in this case. So let us substitute the values here that is negative 3 plus minus square root of 3 square minus 4 times a is 3 and c is negative 4 over 2 times a that is 2 times 3. So let us further solve this so it becomes negative 3 plus minus this is square root of 57 divided by 6. So let us find out the first value of y which is negative 3 plus root of 57 over 6. So this should give us a value of negative 3 plus root 57 divided by 6 gives us 0 0.758. So let me take it as 0 0.758. So 0 0.758 is the first value of y. And let us find out the next value that is y equals negative 3 negative root 57 over 6. So that should give us a value of negative 1.758. So this is a negative 1.758. 758. Now again since we are finding out the volume of the cube, the volume cannot be negative. So we will discard the negative value of y and consider only the positive value. So we have the volume of smaller cube as y cube. So we will take the value as 0 0.758 to the power of 3 and let us find out how much we get here. So it is 
to the power of 3. That gives us a value of 0 0.4355. Now, since here they have mentioned that we need to find out to correct to two decimal places, let us round off our answer as 0 0.44. So, here y cube is equal to 0 0.44 centimeter cube. So, this is the value of y cube or the volume of smaller cube. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So, if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.